where was this expected additional blizzard? I don't think it arrived. It does feel actually it's raining a little bit in some places. It actually makes filming a little hard with the snow because it's so bright on the ground, but then when you look at the sky, it's darker, so it kind of messes everything up. And what's going on today? I guess with the New Year's, it should be celebration for a lot of people, but I guess some people are thinking about topics like safety and all that, which is kind of interesting with this article here. Here it says, Drones could protect vulnerable women walking home from stalkers and sex attackers. High-tech drones could soon be used to protect vulnerable women from being attacked while walking home. It has emerged. So is this like flying police drones or something? It says, under the proposals, if a woman felt threatened while she was outside, she could use an app that would dispatch a 35,000 pound AeroGuard drone to her location within four minutes. The unmanned aerial vehicle is equipped with a powerful spotlight and thermal cameras to frighten off any potential assailants. It would also film suspects to help any future prosecution. A team of former police officers and civil aviation authority experts have put a plan together for the scheme and hope to run a trial at the Nottingham University campus shortly. It makes me wonder if people would be okay with that. It says Richard Gill, founder of firm Drone Defense, which has developed a technology, told The Telegraph that the trial would demonstrate whether drones could offer a cheaper, less noisy and more environmentally friendly service to protect the public than police helicopters. The former Army Intelligence Officer added, We aim to get a prototype off the ground in Nottingham for £500,000. That's a lot of money. It's really high tech too. It says the drone will also be equipped with artificial intelligence, which will automatically track the phone signal from 200 feet in the air. It will be monitored from a control room by a qualified pilot who will be ready to take over if needed. Drone Defense will submit its proposals to the government's innovative research program, which is designed to promote cutting edge technology. So it's kind of interesting in that aspect. Would you actually think it's okay in this case, or would you think it's no, it's going too overboard? I would imagine eventually it will start replacing things like helicopters and all that. If it's more efficient, it just makes more sense. But it just comes down to the fact whether or not people will abuse it like anything else, I guess you could say. All those stories like these constantly remind me of the contradictions where people fear monger a drone, where people are just capturing it. They'll say you're going to spy on them. You could kill people and all that. Whereas in these cases, it's more about officials wanting to use it just to say, I guess you could say monitor people. At the same time, you can just call up this huge drone to fly out wherever you want and you're not worried about quote safety, about it potentially, I don't know, falling on someone or something like that. It's a complete contradiction. And maybe right after the holidays, is that when all like the criminals and stuff come out or something like that? Even like a story here, it says what? Bright lights train in Vancouver Stanley Park cancelled after cables stolen. The Vancouver police are investigating the theft. Vancouver's iconic holiday train in Stanley Park has been cancelled for the remainder of the season after someone stole parts needed to make it operate. Constable Tanya Vistine, a spokesperson for the Vancouver Police Department, confirmed Saturday that they are investigating the theft of about 50 extension cords from the Bright Nights train. Because of this, the train has been closed, she said. Man, was it that valuable or something like that to steal extension cords? Yeah, again, maybe people were just like, oh, I'll take a break from my theft for the New Year's, but then come out afterwards. too cold to be jogging out like that.
Alright, see you guys later.